And so the problem was when he finished the exam is he said, you know, I, I think you're going to need a root canal. You probably have a slight fracture in a tooth or something like that. But he said, I'm not sure which tooth it is. He said, your nerves in your mouth will sometimes react even though the pain is, is coming from a different tooth. He said, so we can't really do it till we know exactly what, what tooth it is. And my wife, who used to work for an endodontist, she told me about her old boss and how a woman came in and she said, Doc, ah, it's this tooth right here. Give me a root canal on this tooth. And he said, no, I don't think it's that tooth. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm absolutely sure it's this tooth. And she insisted. And my wife said it was the only time her boss ever did it. He went against his better judgment, even though he didn't want to do it. He told her he shouldn't do it. And he said, it's, uh, it's your responsibility. He finally gave in, and he gave her a root canal on that tooth. And sure enough, a couple weeks later, she came back in. That wasn't the right tooth. <laughs> Sometimes we come into God and we say, this is the problem, God, it's right here. And we don't understand or know well enough to realize that's not the problem if we had God's perspective. Your big problem is not financial. Your big problem is not relational. Your big problem is not medical or health. Your big problem is that you are alienated from God because of sin. Sin cuts us off from the right relationship with our loving Heavenly Father because He is holy and He is perfect and He can have no fellowship with sin. 